Hello everyone, my name is Dewey, I'm joined with Tom. Oh, hello everyone. Uh, we're, we're back from a little bit of a, a mini vacation during the holidays, uh, but we're here to talk about Tomb Raider. The first thing that I, that is like everyone is probably going to hint at and everyone is going to talk about is does putting in a multiplayer experience take away from the single player experience and i know in the video they had talked about uh that that's the opposite of what they wanted to do you know they didn't want to take away any resources from single player uh and and throw them into multiplayer just and throw out something that's just rushed uh but i, I mean i think that's what everyone's going to say right yeah i feel like that's what every game developer ever says when they're like oh we've got this single player game and we're adding on multiplayer or i mean they'll kind of almost say the opposite if they're launching a game that's primarily multiplayer like mm -hmm. i mean the only games that you really don't have to qualify are sort of these giant big budget titles which certainly tomb raider is but because they're rebooting the series i guess you know they and and they're adding multiplayer for the first time they sort of feel the need to qualify it but I mean, you'd never hear the like you'd never hear um, like Bungie back when they were making Halo just to make it completely unassailable, right? So that you don't have the mm -hmm. new studio aspect. You would have never heard them qualify like, oh well, we made sure that the single player was super high quality, even though we added multiplayer, because everyone knows that they were both going to be there and they were both going to be awesome. They talked about in the video how they learned a lot about from Guardians of Light, how it was their, uh, you know, their their little short, their, you know, their Toy Story, no, Toy Story, Pixar short, where uh, they threw that out there, developed that, kind of put a couple things in with multiplayer in there to see how it was received, and, uh, you know, they learned from there, and f from the little that I played of Guardian Light, and then from the, everything I heard from it, it was very successful. A lot of people really enjoyed that multiplayer, so that kind of, I don't know, gives me hope that it could actually be an enjoyable multiplayer experience. Yeah, for sure. Actually, from uh, just like the, I, I never played it myself, but in the video of this new multiplayer for Tomb Raider, they showed the Guardian of Light multiplayer, and I was like, that just kind of looks fun. It just, it just looks yeah. fun, just looking at it. Like, they're rolling around these giant boulders, and it's like a top-down perspective. Kind of looks like, reminded me of Fusion Frenzy, maybe, even? <laughs> Yeah, I know that uh, the uh, Mike and Jerry from Penny Arcade, that was like their favorite game of the year that came out. Uh, they said that they played countless hours of that together. So, I mean, they're, you know, they're, they've got a pretty strong opinion. I, I, <laughs> and I tend to respect Mike and Jerry's yeah. opinion. The different things that they're taking from single player, be it the characters, uh, the bows, the weapons, um, or the traps, and how that will influence and kind of help the multiplayer. And for me, that's really something that caught my eye and thought, kind of told me that maybe this actually could be kind of fun. Like, uh, they're talking about setting up the, the lightning rods, or um, they had they had a video of where a guy got snatched up by a rope trap and was just kind of hanging there. You got to destroy it before someone comes kills you. Uh, that that intrigues me a lot because it adds a whole nother level of gameplay in which you have to look out for the map itself and not strictly uh, the enemies as well. It might also encourage camping sons of a bitches though. <laughs> This is true, but I mean, it happens in, like, every game, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, eventually everyone, like, eventually there's always that guy that realizes, like, I'm not very good, but if I hide myself in a fairly concealed location and then shoot people that can't see me, that's a good way for me to win. I'm, re I'm really interested to see how well the bow will interact uh, in, the, in the entire multiplayer experience, because, I mean, whenever you throw stuff like that into a... a guns kind of atmosphere it's it's always like yeah uh, you know is anyone actually going to use this there is the torque bow in gears of war but it explodes <laughs> it's really cool explosions good exploding um, bows i'm on board with 100 percent. if you just have normal bows uh, i'm still i could go either way <laughs> i mean it kind of seemed like in the in the clip that we were shown where the guy got shot by the bow he kind of like 
he went to the ground and was like that last stand kind of mode. I mean, who knows? That could have been a perk. It could have actually been a legitimate last stand perk, or maybe that's what the bow does to you. It like hits you and you're instantly going to that last stand mode. Hmm. Who knows? We'll have to we'll have to wait to see to get more information on it. This is only a brief glimpse. Um, but I'm really looking forward to uh, Tomb Raider. This is probably one of my most anticipated games this year. Um, actually, uh, now that I think about it, it might very well be my most anticipated game this year. I haven't put too much thought into it. But anyways, uh, it's just around the corners. I think it's March, isn't it? I'm not. I'm, yeah, either March. March or February, because that's when all games come out. <laughs> it's the, the early Christmas of the year, March and February. Christmas is now two months. <laughs> yes. Um, so... You guys, remember, stay tuned. If you want to hear more Tomb Raider stuff, let us know your opinions on all the stuff we talked about. really want to know what you guys think. Um, and if you want to see more information, just subscribe. Uh, we'll definitely be releasing more videos like this on a bunch of different games, uh, not just Tomb Raider. Uh, you can expect a lot from Grand Theft Auto from Rayman. So, because, you know, it's, it's Rayman, Grand Theft Auto. That happens. Uh, but anyways, thank you, Tom. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.